And today we want to jump into the configuration. So can you show to our students how they will become at the end of this journey with you of the 26 weeks? And today I just want to ask you an overview about the multi-protocol lab specifically, if you can give us an idea about the layer two. All right, so the thing that I want to show you right now is that this is our multi-protocol topology that we are going to use. And uh, don't worry when we go through single protocol topologies and uh, as our students also know, ex existing students that we will learn all the te technologies in deep, but now everything comes together. But to today I want to concentrate more on the layer two part to just show you that where would you end up once you are done with this. So for example, here you can see that we have uh, uh, three switches connected to each other. So the layer two configuration of our multi-protocol lab will be in this particular section. And more specifically, uh, let's concentrate on one topic, uh, one of the examples uh, where we, we will show you into the multi-protocol lab. For example, it's spanning tree protocol. So I can show you one example how to configure it and what our students would also be able to do once they are uh, once they reach to that particular level, right? So the topology is pretty straightforward. Three switches, switch 110, 101, and 102 and all of them are connected via two different ports. And the instructions are into our multi-protocol lab. So for the spelling tree protocol instructions are that STP root uh, for VLAN 2000 must be switch 101. So we know that the root uh, configuration is done by changing the priority. So if I want to make switch 101 the root for VLAN 2000, I will just go to the switch 101, which actually spelling tree VLAN 2000. You can see that switch 101 is not the root bridge right now. Otherwise, it would have shown it here as the root bridge. So we go and we change the priority here. You can see spare entry specifically, specifically for VLAN 2000 priority is less than the default 32768. Uh, we decided to do 4096. And now if I check again, show spare entry VLAN 2000. Now you can see the keyword, this bridge is the root, right? That was the uh, requirement of the uh, question. And the STP root for VLAN 2001 must be the other switch, switch 102. So the same command, but we'll do it on switch one or two. So again, these username and passwords, uh, we will let you know into the PDF, everything will be there into the multi-protocol lab. So here we will again do the spanning tree VLAN 2001 this time, and priority is lower than 32768, whatever you like to decide, right? And now you can check show spanning tree VLAN 2001. There you go, this switch becomes the uh, root bridge, right? And next thing is the routes must be elected based on the bridge priority. That's what we did. We use the priority. Uh, on the three switches, have STP perform cost calculation in 32-bit arithmetic. So if you see the <coughs> commands, you see this cost value here. These values are actually using the 16-bit or the short form of the cost. And they want us to scale the cost value to use a 32-bit uh, arithmetic, which means the long uh, uh, path cost method. So this is something we do. Uh, into the configuration mode. We use the content spending tree, uh, path cost, method, long. So you will see that there are two options here, short or long, and we will use the keyword long. And you can see the impact here in choice spending tree command. And uh, now the cost is scaled. So now actually we use different level of cost, which we actually do cover into our theory that what are the default costs for everything, right? Finally, on all three switches, use the rapid STP version. And that means we have to configure RSTP, right? So you can see that the protocol is IEEE, which means it is using the uh, PVST, not rapid PVST. So to configure it, we use the command spanning tree mode rapid PVST. And this is something you will have to configure on all three switches, right? So here as well. And then on switch 100, it will be the same command, right? Uh, or finally, switch 110, prevent all current and future access mode interface from being affected by the proposal and agreement process. So uh, RSTP has a proposal and agreement process, which it uses to uh, select the designated ports and root ports. Uh, but if you have a port going to an end device, like a computer, printer, server, then better to configure it as a port fast so that it doesn't, inter uh, it doesn't involve or get involved into the proposal and agreement uh, mechanism. So basically what they're asking is that all the edge ports should be configured as the port fast on switch 110, right? So for that, let's go to switch 110. And what we can do is, let me go to the config mode. 
and first of all let's configure rapid qst just like other switches and then we can say spelling tree port fast edge default so all the edge ports will not uh, participate into the proposal and agreement uh, behavior so that's it that completes our stp part of the layer 2 section so you can see it's pretty straightforward read the instructions and configure the things based on the theory that you have learned with me and also practice the uh, connections so now that part complete so over to you so as you can see this is the way to arrive at the lab of course you need a theory first but you are going to cover every single session with arpit a portion of theory followed immediately by your lab so schedule a zoom session with me because we are starting very soon in a couple of weeks and talk to you later thanks thank you bye bye